I'm Major Angobrio. We're on board the Toronto Harbour Water Taxi. Today on City News, we're taking you on board, showing you how some of Toronto's shoreline is disappearing as water levels continue to rise in Lake Ontario. We're right near Centerville. Have a look behind us here. Look how close the water is encroaching to Centerville. The rides, there's, that's just the train track there where the kids go along. Also behind me is the bridge. We're also joined on board today by Ralph McQuinn. Ralph, you've been driving these waters for more than two decades. When we look at how high the water is from the bridge, normally boats are getting under there. How shocking is that when you see it? Uh, it's just crazy. I've never seen the water this high. Anywhere is around here, you know, you, there's usually a little bit of a beach area, like behind me right over here as well, where we used to actually drop passengers off here one time. There's no way you could do that now. I mean, the beach, there's just nothing there. No they got to swim off. I mean, if you look over there, look that uh, that deck and the jetty going out to it, and let's say that ramp is going down, not up where it should be going up before. Thanks so much, Ralph. Now, there are predictions we could see water levels rise 18 centimeters this weekend. And if winds continue to whip in from the east, shorelines, unprotected shorelines along the west will continue to get hammered. Do nothing. Oh, the mark. <laughs> that got me. Viewer video of the waves rolling onto a property at Royal York shows just how some of the head shows just some of the headaches property owners in the West End are dealing with. This is the aftermath at Marie Curtis Park, where debris littered the beach, and a backyard fence and deck have taken a substantial beating. Normally, winds come in from the southwest, but boaters are telling the Conservation Authority that Mother Nature has been blowing in from the east more and more frequently leaving the West End shoreline with no break wall protection to fight a losing battle against the elements. Emergency measures are being drawn up as we speak, but the coast, but rather the cost could be massive and any permanent fix like a break wall could leave homeowners sinking. For private properties, it would be up to the private property owners to work with their neighbours to provide that kind of protection. Even if it was 25 metres out in the lake? That's right. The it city. is It is not city property or TRCA property. What could the price tag run up to? Um, many millions of dollars. Each, each structure could be a million or two million dollars, depending on the type of structure. Not all of it has to be a big, you know, a big structure. It could just be... Um, uh, something to break the wave so it could be an offshore shoals for instance like we're proposing at Gibraltar Point in Toronto Island we're just trying to break the wave action but again this is wave action that we've not seen for at you know 50 years it would be a really pricey price tag for anybody living along here I have no idea I have no idea what you would do about that I think um, I don't see it happening people are gonna have to start building up their properties at the back